Wednesday, about one o'clock, in the 40s, some breeze. I couldn't go yesterday, almost in the 70s yesterday. I had some honeydew stuff and all them knives to take back. Anyway, I didn't feel like going yesterday anyway. My damn blood pressure was low. When it gets low, I don't have any energy for some reason. But today it's better. Take a look at it. 128 today, 106, 101 yesterday. We're going to Gray Matter City. Stand by. You can see we still got a little breeze, but you see these nice wide beats we got here. I knew it would be wide. Great, googa mooga. Slews everywhere. Question is, which way do we go? Now the other day at the beach, it was right in, all the stuff was inside these leaves right here. Right along in here is where everything was. I don't know that we'll find it like that here. But let's go and see. The first target was a seven. It was a little lead head jig. This is like a 10. Not a jump between eight and 10. I don't know that I like it, but we got to try it out. No, it's minus and out. Bad. I got a feeling this is junk. Stand by. It's a steady 10 or 11 right now, out of the sand. I mean, out of the hole. snap swivel. I guess we will be in the tackle business today. It says 16. I don't know if it's a cruddy penny, like a cookie coin or what. You can see it's fat. But it could be a dime under all that green stuff. I don't know why it's 16 though. We'll check it out when we get home. Well, I've been kind of working in and out here, you see. I start up here at the top and I go down. I've only found one target up high right there. Most of them's been just on the other side of that little low spot right there where you see those little hollows. So I'm gonna move down that way and work that zone for a while. Target there, target here, target right here. Everything's right in and through here in this zone right here. There's two targets right there. Nothing of consequence, but weird crap.
Well, I can't see no marks in it. But it looks a little junky to me. Like bling. We'll have to tell when we get home. Well, I'm gonna turn around here by the bridge. I ain't going that far. I'm gonna work back along the edge of this little slough right through here. I kind of wish I brought my boots. I could have walked right down the middle of it, but I didn't. Let me see what the edge looks like. I doubt that you can see them, but right there's a big container ship coming in, inbound. And there's a big warship right behind it, some kind of aircraft carrier. Big one, inbound, right off the Cape there. I'm going home. Depending on the time, I may stop at the, uh, where the place where the urn was. It all depends, I'll see, I'll let you know. Well, it's 322. I could hit the uh, oak tree for about a half hour, maybe. As long as I get home by four to play ball, I'll be okay. Chris has got a dinner en engagement with an old friend of hers tonight. I think uh, her son and myself are going to the steak place. It's a big bar around here called the Brass Bell. Well, every night they have some kind of steak special or pork chop special for a reduced price because they're trying to sell a lot of food to keep up their alcohol sales. You know, that so Virginia's funny about things like that. They make you have X number of food sales that have an ABC license. So they sell steaks at a relatively in inexpensive price during the week only. We'll see how it goes. I forgot I got a story to share with you. Not a good story either. Remember these three uh, fish fillet knives I did the other day? Two Dexters and a Rapella type fish knife. Guy brought them by. He's a he's a lives in this neighborhood where I live. He brought them by. I says Max, I can't cut my. I had a hard time cutting my Thanksgiving turkey and my Thanksgiving ham. You've seen them. Two big long Dexter fillet knife and a Rapella. I'm in no hurry. Just give me a holler when you get them ready. I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday you brought them by, but I called him on Saturday or the next day. Told him I had them ready. He said, okay, I'll be by in a day or two. <clears throat> we got a neighborhood email came out today. He had a heart attack and passed away. He's got two brothers living in the same neighborhood. I'll have to give them to one of them. That's bad damn luck. He's sort of a young guy. He's not, you know, not nearly as old as I am. Damn. You never know. While we're back here getting the stuff out, years ago when I started metal detecting, I used to get cold all the time in the wintertime. But after finding, uh, I call them mittens. They're gloves where your fingers go in the holes right here. And they, they cover up on the outside. When it's getting really cold, I put a liner inside of them. A little teeny like nylon polyester liner. That keeps your hands warm, I'm telling you. You can get your fingers out, you can pick up whatever you need to pick up. And I wear an old fisherman's cap. Gruens. I've had this thing 20 years, I guess. Kind of ugly, but boy, it's nice. I got on a, a sweatshirt with a hood, a jacket, some REI midweight top with a shirt. I got two pair of REI long johns on, a brand new pair of midweights and a 10 year old pair of midweights. And I'm just as warm as toast. I've been all day. Who wants to know who else is going to dinner? Nobody. That's there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The roundup. Three pennies. That green coin I thought might have been a dime was a really wafer thin penny. And a blinger. Pure bling. See you tomorrow somewhere. <laughs>